Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's early morning, I'm uh, uh, having to drive up Eddie to school and I thought I'd give you a few minutes of my time because there is something I want to discuss a little bit. It's a difficult subject for me because um, some people might take that wrong, I don't, I'm not sure. But let's talk about it and then uh, I will show you uh, some of the stuff I bought in the winter sale for my, uh, for my flight to Germany, for my vacation in Germany next winter. Right now is the time to buy, load up on cheap pants and jackets and sweaters because they're all on sale. Uh, and um, I thought I'd do it just like that and now we have the the one who cuts our front yard grass <laughs> making noise, but so that's okay. So um, let's talk about the subject I want to touch. Jesus Freak, it's a big uh, revival right now in Asbury. You know, we were with the, with the news boys, the concerts are sold out. Uh, Phil Wickham comes in May, in May. concerts sold out. Um, Crowder. There's a, a, a big revival right now going on, especially among the young people. And I'm really, really happy about it. You know that. I got saved uh, and baptized last year. And um, I, my husband and I, I come from a Catholic background. My husband from a, a Latter-day Saint and we both lost touch with religion because we were so restricted in our youth and um, we didn't want to touch religion anymore. We came to God based out of no, not going to church at all anymore. And since we are together, we always, I always said, uh, I feel God um, in nature more than in any Catholic church. I never felt God in any Catholic church. It's just a building for me. And uh, when I, when I'm in nature, when I'm in the mountains or on the beach, I can feel God. I. I can feel it. And uh, my husband is my soulmate. <laughs> he feels the same way. That's kind of the discussions we had when we met. And we looked for many, many years, and checked because we, we, we both agree we would like to go to church and meet with people who are also believers, but uh, and learn more about the sermon and about the Bible. But we didn't want to go to a church where we didn't feel comfortable. And uh, we found the foothills because uh, they are not restricting. There are many of those out there, so don't, don't get me wrong. I just want to warn young people who are getting infected with the revival virus, with, with believing in God, and it's a good thing, but if you want to join a new church and uh, please look where you go don't end up in a cult that's what i want to talk about there are some bad guys out there teaching all the wrong things because they in because they don't teach from the bible they actually teach from what they believe in and that's my first first and, and most important recommendation to everybody who is new to being a believer, new to the Bible, stick, this is my Bible, stick what is in the Bible, read the Bible, study the Bible. This way you recognize if somebody tells you stuff that's, huh? No, that's not in the Bible what you are talking about, no. And that's where you have to come. So study the Bible. I, this year I read it from beginning to, uh, to the end, we get these from church, these little cards with Bible verses, so every November, and then I go through and try to read them all. I want to read the whole Bible this year from beginning to the end. And um, even even uh, if you know the Bible, like my husband studies the Bible uh, really well, and I'm a linguist, so sometimes we look, um, he doesn't like that one, the international version I have. Uh, he likes the St. James Bible. But if you are not an English native speaker, it's really hard to read the St. James Bible. It's this old English. 
also I, I'm fascinated by it as a linguist, as somebody who, who studied languages. I, I prefer the International Bible, but he says some of the words are just not translated right. And he points a few out, but it's not, in my mind, it's not uh, wrong enough to for me to not go with that. So, But it's up to you. You decide which Bible. They are all okay. Everything written in red is what Jesus said. That's also something you need to know because uh, even his disciples were just human beings and, you know, not everything he, they said should, you know, sh might be what Jesus said. That's what I'm just saying. Uh, that's where I'm going. That's my focus in life. I want to live according to the Bible. Um, I don't listen to somebody who tells me how am I saying that? I don't want to say it wrong, but if you're young, you, you, you listen to some, some teachers, some, some preachers, and you soak in their word, and sometimes it's not what in the Bible is, it's their own interpretation. If somebody tells you to wear certain things or not to wear pants as a woman, there's something wrong with it. It's not in the Bible. If, uh, if somebody tells you to marry somebody you don't even know there's something wrong with it not in the bible you know you get my drift there are cults and people get sucked into these cults because they believe in god and they want to be with people who believe in god and it's like a charismatic environment and um it's all good until they are getting brainwashed into doing things which has nothing to do with the Bible. It's just some leader's authority. And uh, make sure if you join a new church, you are not in one of these. There are plenty of good churches out there. Don't get me wrong, but there are some of them are not good, are cult leaders and don't end up there. If you have a question to that, you can leave a comment on my, on my um, uh, YouTube. And um, I hope you have a good life living with the Bible, according to the Bible, and with God on your side as your body. So that's a good life. And uh, you see the Jesus Freak shirt? I had to have it. <laughs> Speaking from fashion, um, I want to show you now uh, all the stuff I got in the sale. Because right now it's winter sale and I'm going to Germany in winter this year. So I thought I'd buy it now instead of waiting until next winter where everything is expensive again. <laughs> and I, need a f I needed a few pants, a few warm sweaters, so I show you what I bought. It's not an, a video about what I pack to go to Germany. I have some stuff I already own which I will pack, but um, this is just about what I see on the clearance racks right now and which, in, which were of interest to me and which I bought. And I hope you have fun going shopping with me and see you again with the next video. I, I do uh, cook again. I have to find a, a new recipe right now. I am Daniel fasting and uh, eat very clean and um, try to be good. Not, not only because I have a lab coming up <laughs> at end of March, but uh, also um, getting rid of some weight I, I gained during Christmas time and I ate, over ate the wrong things. I already lost a few pounds and I feel really good about that. I go swimming, I go line dancing and I, I watch my food, so I feel good about it. And. Um, there is not much. I have a, a playlist with uh, Daniel Fast uh, approved recipes. Uh, I still have one I want to cook. Uh, I made a, um, a whole plant-based vegan chili and it was so good that, I mean, my, my daughter and I, I gave my daughter the recipe and uh, she took it to a contest at her workplace and even meat eaters voted for it. So it was a very close call to a meat-based chili, which won one of them. 
but my vegan chili came in second, very close. And that's a big compliment because, you know, people who eat meat and they, when they eat vegan chili, they, you know, there's always the, the label already there. But it, it's really, really good. And I'm going to make that for you probably next video because I need to get the ingredients first. I, I'm out of um, some of the ingredients. But if you are waiting for a cooking recipe, stay tuned to the next video, okay? <laughs> And now let's go to the fashion. Oh, one more thing while this guy is mowing out there and <laughs> making a lot of noise. Uh, it's funny because I, I bought all these warm stuff which is on sale for my upcoming vacation in Germany. And in California, usually around this time, it's not cold anymore. It's, it's rainy, it's cool, but not cold. But this year, we actually have snow on the hills. I can see the snow in the eastern foothills in Gilroy right from my house. It's it's everybody's so excited and they have really big snow problems up in Lake Tahoe and, and, and Squaw Valley and all these areas in the in the Sierras. But here in Silicon Valley we usually don't get snow. So everybody's excited here to see snow on the hills. I put a, a photo in before we go to the fashion. I wanted you to see it because so, it's really something we get a kick out of. It was on my way uh, shopping. So I went from Target to uh, Old Navy across Highway 152, I think. Yeah. And that's where the photo, I took the photo because the hills looked so pretty in, in the snow and I can see them from home like just like that. The outfit I wear is um, a kind of a, you know, jogging outfit, two piece. Uh, I also can wear it as a pajama if I fall asleep in it. Uh, and it looks good enough to just jump into the car and drive Eddie to school, what I just did. So uh, this is from Didi's and it cost me $4. It's super, super soft. And uh, I like the animal print. I know you're a suck I'm a sucker for animal print and the stripes. I liked it. So uh, look at it. I pair it with my my uh, cross body bag I got from the church swap for free. The coach bag, you know. Uh, the the shoes I wear are um, Converse. Uh, about this log soles. I I really love these. Uh, I'll show you. They were at Walmart for um, $12. So I love those log soles. Uh, as you know, I have sandals, I have boots, I have knee-high boots, I have combat shoes, everything with these log soles. It just makes the, the, the leg taller. It makes me look taller when I wear these flare jeans. And I also like to wear them, they're comfortable. So they fit good to that outfit and uh, I hope you like it. I like it and this is what I take to Germany as a pajama. I know my stepmother's uh, house is pretty cold, her apartment. She doesn't heat a lot. Um, I like to sleep uh, in cold air too, so I'm all for it. But I want a pajama on when it's cold and uh, there I really need it. Here in California, most of the year I wear shorts and a t-shirt when I sleep because uh, it's not that cold. But in, in Germany, when we fly uh, around Christmas time, it's going to be cold. So I want to have a nice snug pajama and I can get out in the morning and make some coffee and stuff like that. So this is what it's for. I like it. Show you one more time. Limping with one shoe <laughs> off. But I wanted to see you the whole thing. Yay. Three dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars pajama, twelve dollar shoes. Pajama from Didi's, shoes from Walmart. This is most likely my travel outfit when I fly from San Francisco to uh, Munich. We have the flights already booked non-stop. So uh, let me explain it. That's a camel hair coat. Oh, it's so fluffy really fluffy and nice um 
I got on Amazon. It was on clearance, but they are expensive. So on clearance, it was $78, I think. I bought it one size uh, bigger than I usually buy. I bought it in um, 2XL because I want it a little oversized. I can always change the, the buttons to make it a little snugger, but I really like it that way. That's how the fashion is right now, a little oversized. And uh, the hat I found at Target for $9 uh, right now. Because, you know, you need something in Germany because it's snowing. You can, I, I, I landed a lot of time when I visited Germany and it was snowing like hell. So you need something on your head because you have to walk through the to the long-term parking or to the rail station or wherever you go. So it's good to have a hat and this one I can fold and put in my purse. This is my old purse. I like that big one. It's coming in fashion again. <laughs> so I can put my cross bag in there, my coach bag with the passport, put my hat in there, you know, and um, got enough space for it. Um, the coat, you know, I put out in the in the plane, of course. I'm not sure if I wear that sweater or if I wear onion style, like a t-shirt and then a jacket over so that I can even peel off more. I don't think I need to peel off more. There's usually air condition is going on your shoulders and I like to have it a little warm here when I sleep. <laughs> I don't want to wake up with a stiff neck, but this block, uh, sweater uh time true or what the, the walmart it's a walmart was on sale for nine dollars if you go not right now on the clearance rack at walmart you find some really cute sweaters and the block patterns are not going out of style and the jeans also is from walmart it's one of these wide leg jeans uh it's very stretchy and uh like ankle high, it's perfect size. I have, I wear my combat boots with it, which I bought last year at the uh, Kohl's at the sale. And uh, I think that's a very chic outfit to fly. It's comfortable, um, you know, it's not, uh, not, uh, not uh, restricting. You sit in your chair, you sleep, you. I can have the, the, the coat over me if it's cold or put it in the seat and just sleep like that. And uh, yeah, I love it. And that's one of those I bought. Uh, to make no mistake, I'm not showing you today what I'm packing. I only show you what I got in the, in the winter sales right now because now is the time to buy for the next winter season. It's really cheap. Everything is really cheap and down priced. And uh, I try to st stick with styles I know will not go out of fashion. Uh, the white legs will not go out of fashion. This is a gray wash or black, yeah, gray wash, I would say. That's a, a color that's neutral. The block uh, uh, sweater will not go out of fashion. So it's something I know I can keep and it will look good next year when I fly to Germany. Oh, going on to the next one. The jeans in this outfit, I took a little bit of a fashion risk because I'm not sure how long that trend lasts. It just came, it's one of the coming trends for spring and summer, And but the jeans was on sale, so I, I got it. It's a Sofia Vergara jeans, uh, about 35, I would say I paid with shipping. I bought that at Walmart, but uh, online, not in the store. I couldn't see them in the store. And uh, it's one of these where you have different colors. See that where it goes, uh, where it goes to a different color. Maybe I should show you a little bit closer to the to the jeans. I don't know how to do this. Let me see if I put my leg on a chair. See that it goes here, different colors, and I love it. I, I love the jeans. It's really comfortable. It is uh, looks very stylish, and um, I couldn't resist buying it. As I say, this is not the video where I show you all the clothes I take to Germany. This is just 
I show you what I buy in the current sales, in the winter sales, because then I have it all together when I pack in, in next winter, when I go on vacation to Germany and I don't have to worry about anything. So that might, that style might go away, but I like the jeans, I will wear it anyway. I paired it again with my um, coach cross bag, which is nice when you, when I fly, I have my, my, my passport and everything in there. I paired it with the um, leather jacket I, and, and the blondie shirt I got at, um, at the church swap, just like the cross bag. This is a Kenneth Cole leather jacket and the blondie sweatshirt. And I got both at the church, uh, church clothes swap for free, all three things. So <laughs> that's a good deal. And uh, it fits well with those jeans. Everything goes with those jeans. A flannel shirt if I decide to take one, a jacket and uh, a blouse. Even, even I can't even wear it to Christmas. This is my red glittery sweatshirt I showed you for the Christmas outfits. Um, again, this will c come, right, once we are closer to the vacation date, I will pack my luggage and I show you what I take with me. This today is just what I found in the sales, in the winter sales. I'm really happy about those jeans. They fit very well, they are stretchy. They're a little loose, but I like it loose. Because uh, on, on Christmas I'm in Germany, I'm probably overeaten anyway. Right now I'm on a good weight because I am um, uh, not eating a lot. I'm staying clean on my a whole plant-based diet uh yeah almost like a daniel fast already so I'm, I'm not eating that a lot and i'm exercising more so as you know i do line dancing and uh swimming uh several times a week so at pace and uh yeah love that blondie shirt too so this is uh, a nice outfit I bought. this one is um i mean my beanie i have I bought it in Lake Havasu last year, uh, last year? Yeah, last year, winter. No, the winter before, uh, when we were in Lake Havasu. So, you know, I'm a sucker for beanies, so I show you, you know, it's Christmas time and I will be in Germany, so that's a good way to go to the Christmas markets. And I show you, I bought that shirt and that corduroy at Old Navy on the clearance rack. It's also flare jeans. So, um, do you like it? <laughs> I like the color, the, you know, like almost like a cinnamon color and the black shirt together looks very good. The shirt is not crinkling. So I found one that's actually, usually with these shirts when you, when you wear them and they look like horrible, you know, if you don't iron them. So. I'm not spending my time in Germany ironing clothes. <laughs> this is not, uh, it's very soft, a soft material. It feels like silk, but it's not. And it's, uh, I still have the tags on it. It's, it was $27 on the clearance rack at Old Navy. And um, the jeans was, I would say $12. Ah, the jeans, the corduroy flares, high rise flare were, uh, like twelve dollars in in several colors you find these flares everywhere i see them at walmart target everywhere so just choose a color you like i like the cinnamon it's nice to black and i have some black stuff i want to take with me i will try to pack as less stuff as possible um i'm not getting a big luggage I, i'm just taking a a medium sized um, luggage, I think. And um, what I'm packing is several pants, uh, a few sweaters, warm sweaters, maybe two tank tops, that shirt, beanie, the, you know, what I wear. I try not to wear, uh, to pack too many shoes. So I'm not sure if I take those with me because I'm taking the log sole combat boots that work with all these outfits. Not sure if I take those with me. This is this is the one I, I w was wearing with the corduroys right now and with the Sofia Vergara jeans. 
because I like those log soles with the flare jeans. They make a really, they let you look really tall, you know, and, and uh, sleek. But uh, the combat boots have log soles and they, they do the trick too. So if you have a lot of snow in, in Germany, when we go there, I, I might leave them at home and just use the combat boots. I, I also plan on put, uh, taking my knee-high boots, which are uh, also log soles, because uh, they fit nice to my Christmas outfit. So I'm not sure, but I will not definitely not take a dress to Germany or uh, a lot of shoes. So I'm trying to stay with just one, two so a pair of shoes so that I have space in the in the luggage for my pants and for a few warm sweaters. Some some tank tops, maybe one t-shirt with a long light, uh, you know, uh, something. I'm not sure. So I have one more to show you, uh, one of my purchases, and then we will wrap it up. Here's the last but not least outfit. Um, this is the shirt, the sweatshirt, you know, I play bass for Jesus. I plan to take it with me because hopefully I get to jam with one of my musician friends in Germany. Uh, I'm not taking my, any of my guitars with me, but uh, they, have, they have guitars, so maybe we can jam. And uh, I want to make sure they know I'm the bass player. <laughs> anyway, uh, this sweatshirt is fun and it fits to that G, to that cargo pants. It's a jogger style, very warm um, cotton. I want to say like jeans, uh, thick cotton style cargo pants. What I like on it is uh, it does not have these bags on the legs, which I don't like. It makes me look white. So this is just uh, it, it has bags here and. Uh, a drawstring, so very comfortable. They would be another contender to wear on the plane, by the way, because it has a drawstring, and I really like uh, like that sitting on the plane. Then uh, that sweatshirt, I can even leave it out, or I put it in like this, which I like to wear my sweatshirts. That's I learned that from influencers like Tara and Denise. It looks really good. I like it, and. Uh, so funny, uh, you know, when I started doing that, I spent time to tuck it right, that it actually looks nice, you know. I don't do that anymore, but I did that because I was a little unsecure. And um, one time I tucked it, it was all perfect, and I walked out of the sleeping room. My husband comes, pulls on my sweatshirt and says, hey, you, you forgot to put your sweatshirt out. <laughs> I almost jumped at him and I was like, leave me alone. And then Eddie explained to him that this is how you wear a sweatshirt these days. He just looked at me you know, with a weird look. He doesn't understand that fashion, I can tell you, but uh, I don't care. I like it, so I wear it. So this will be the tucked in version. And again, I wear my combat boots, which fits to every single outfit I showed you today so these are a ticket I take with me I probably wear them on the plane so I don't have them in the in the luggage in the bag and uh, might just put one more pair of shoes in it maybe boot, uh, my knee-high boots um, I'm not sure about the others I'm not sure but that's about it um, and I think I'm almost done packing <laughs> with the new stuff I bought. Oh, these this pants are from uh, Walmart on the clearing rack. And it was like $9, down to $9 from like $35. And I really like it. It's warm. It's, it's loose enough so I can even wear a, um, a leggings underneath if it's really cold. You know, there are some really, really cold days. And if you go out in the night, it's even colder, so maybe put a leggings underneath because I, I will walk a lot in Germany. I will not have a car. I usually don't rent a car when I go by myself because my I live at my stepmother's house and uh, 
She lives in walking distance to the town center. She lives only a few minutes away from where my son and my grandson lives and one of my friends and everything else I can reach by train. Uh, when I lived in Sandhofen, that's the town I, I lived in, it's the most southern town in Germany, I reached everything by train. I didn't even have a car for two years. So I, I just took the train to work and um, to other towns, to Munich, you, the train is running, you know, every half an hour is a train running. You don't even need the schedule. You just wait until the next one comes, you know. That's usually also how I go home from the airport because um, with the, in Munich, you have, with your flight ticket, you have a free ride to the, to the main railway station. And uh, from there, it's really easy to go home. And there is a good, there are good, there's good food at the railway station. <laughs> so I can load up on my wheel loaf. Or, um, um, if I eat, I, I mean, I haven't eaten meat for a while, so I, I might not even eat it, but a pretzel, a big pretzel, I would, I will def definitely buy. And Eddie probably wants a real loaf anyway. Uh, so um, maybe we get picked up by my family, I don't know, and then we can't eat, <laughs> but uh, I leave that up to them, so I don't force them to pick us up. Anyway, this was it for today. Uh, there is not much more I pack, but uh, a Christmas outfit will be there, uh, some boots I own, uh, one more jacket for, for wet weather. I don't want to put my camel hair jacket into when it's when it really pours. When it snows, it's fine, but when it pours, uh, I want to have a, a, a rain jacket with me. Um, yeah, that's all. A few more, uh, maybe one more set of earrings I want to show you. I also have a scarf, um, um, animal print scarf I can wear around the camel hair jacket. Uh, but this is nothing I bought for this. So today is just what I bought in the sale, which is on the market right now. If you go to Walmart, to, to Target, to um, Ross, Marshalls, you will find the stuff I, I bought and Coles. Yeah. Okay. So as I say in California, Peace out, stay frosty, <laughs> and uh, until I see you again, ciao.